What is up guys, McDouble's back again with a brand new video, and today we're going to be checking out the Custom Shaman Tank class on Vanilla Plus. I've already got a guy all the way from the beginning at release, ready to go, and there's some pretty sick custom stuff that you've probably never seen before. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, let's jump right in. <laughs> Alright guys, so I am jumping on my OG McDoubles character from my very first attempts of Vanilla Plus. This guy is set up, apparently, to be a tank. Of course, they reset his talents, but I do have a shield. I do have Crush's back, in fact. Eight defense on that one, by the way. I've got a Stinging Viper on. We're working with some Armor of the Fang as well. Really weird stats on some of these pieces. Uh, fell Scale Cloak. That's, uh, like, complete garbage. Uh, feline Mantle, even. So, it, you know, it's all over the place. Not gonna lie, my gear is all over the place. Tough and Leather Gloves as well. But we're gonna give this Tank Shaman a try. Level 25 right now. And I thought it would just be something different and fun to do. So, Vanilla Plus actually has a pretty interesting talent system right now set up for the enhanced shaman specifically for tanking i have shield spec to give me five percent more block and a hundred percent chance when i block to restore one percent of my mana on top of that i can also get something along the lines of let's say elemental weapons to increase the effectiveness of what i'm only going to assume is going to have to be the rock biter weapon because it generates additional threat when using a weapon and a shield in the offhand that's a pretty cool effect as well so that's five talent points and that makes a lot of sense we can go in the toughness for 15 percent more armor and resistances and then i think we can go into guardian totems as well to improve the effectiveness of my stone skin totem for more armor so uh that's a pretty good one if you think about it we can look at stone skin right here and it is 412 armor which is really nothing to scoff at i have 1705 which is a 40 percent reduction but if i get rid of the totem let's say by placing a tremor i guess to replace it now i'm down to 33 percent oh 34 let's say so six percent is a massive gain just for putting a totem down and uh yeah on top of this new one as well, Earth Shield increases healing taken by 15% and chance to block by 30%, lasts for 10 minutes or 20 attacks. Um, I think we're going to be pretty much mitigation capped uh, very, very consistently. I've got my armor. Now I've got a block specialization. You cannot use Lightning Shield and Earth Shield. So Lightning Shield, I guess, is, um, you know, shelved for now. And we'll just be running around with this Earth Shield on. But I think this is actually a badass concept. I can also go into Rock Hide, by the way. When struck in combat, I now have a 5% chance to inflict 120 physical damage that apparently now scales with my level to nearby enemies and also stun them for a second. It also just straight up reduces all damage I take by 5%. That's a broken talent for this build. I only have one more talent point now. I'm just going to go into Primal Endurance to increase my total health by 4%. I think we're ready to go. Also, massive shout out to Shummy right here, my friend. He actually said, love your videos. Keep it up. He gave me 15G on a character I haven't played in a long time in a large blue sack all right let's find a group all right sick guys i got a dead minds group with four alliance members that have never seen an enhancement shaman tank before so uh, i have a feeling based on these talents based on this spell that i forgot to show you guys i showed you a while ago a year ago but maybe you guys don't remember it rocky bash smashes the target and its nearest allies with a petrified shield causing 79 to 89 damage increased by ap hits up to three targets i think with this at level 25 i'm going to be perfectly fine I'll place my stone skin, rocky bash it up, totem people, and uh, shock them as well. We'll keep up the earth shield, and I think it'll be a smooth run. And honestly, I even have a stone claw totem I just saw, so maybe we can utilize that on the side. None may challenge the brotherhood. The brotherhood shall prevail. All right, guys, old school vanilla plus shaman tanking of dead minds. Let's do it. All right, so, so far, it seems like shaman is incredibly good at small packs, right? A few mobs at a time so you can rocky bash and instantly get all the threads. There's never been a situation where I think I need stone skin totem up, but I also slightly out level uh, this dungeon. I'm at the very tip top of the level bracket. You really don't need to be in dead minds right now, but I wanted to do something, to be honest. I just wanted to do something different, and I saw this being advertised in chat they just needed a tank so i jumped for it right so i can place the stone claw totem to help me get aggro and then i can follow up with that rocky bash and hope everything goes on me most of the time it works well but as you can see things get crazy crazy messy when the pulls get bigger 
does this get alleviated in the future? Um, and do my totems give me threat and not the totem threat on Vanilla Plus, specifically for situations like this where I'd want to be tanking so I can plop down things like the Fire Nova totem, that old school Fire Nova totem, right? I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. I don't think so. The thing I do have problems with is mana. If I run out of mana, I have no way to get threat back other than auto attacking and hope the rock biter is enough, uh, which obviously isn't the best. But I am only level 25. You know, we end up getting things like Aftershock, apparently, when you're a level 40 shaman, and this could do pretty interesting and nutty things. For example, it makes my Earth Shock a literal taunt. So there you go. That is your taunt. How much worse is it than other tanks, though? That's really the question. Pallies might have Consecration right now, and that might actually be good enough to hold aggro pretty consistently on anything that's around you. And Warriors have Thunderclap, and Bear Druids have, well, Swipe. I don't think anything I just mentioned has a cap on what they can hit, except for the Shaman's version, which is Rocky Bash. So maybe we'll get something else, and I'm not really looking at the Bash right, but at the moment, we do have to recognize it is actually just an inferior version of many other tanks' uh, AoE, AoE threats, right? We also don't have any kind of melee spammable that I can see. I'm talking about something else to do, and I think that's what's contributing to me having mana problems right now. One thing I do want to do after this dungeon is we'll jump back on my hunter on Vanilla Plus, and I think we might do some DPSing on there, some uh, maybe a dungeon if we can find it or something like that as well. I do want to progress more on these characters, and I thought maybe we could do a twofer, right? <laughs> Alright, Stone Claw Totem. It's not giving me the threat, right? That'd be great. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, I'm actually holding it. Some guys just got off me. We can Earth Shock that, but he just died. I mean, the best thing I've got is, like, tab-targeting my autos, dude. That's the best thing I've got at the moment, because I'm oom. Um, I'm constantly oom. Um. It just doesn't matter, though, because we're all so strong, you know? Oh my god, Rockbiter weapon has a five-minute duration. It went away, and I didn't even realize. I was like, okay, yeah, it's a 30-minute, maybe an hour duration. I didn't even think twice about it. That's really vanilla-esque. That's not quality of life. All right, I'll take it. The Rockbiter is almost like a Righteous Fury because it really does significantly boost your auto attack threat. It's like one auto and the guy's on me, just about. We can Earth Shock that guy back. Not too bad. It's just I'm not getting the mana consistently off those autos on me. There we go. I love the Shield Slam, man. It's enough to make you want to play this. Oh, and by the way, I think it's actually pretty good in PvP at low levels as well. Because you can just, like, throw out the Rocky Bash on top of all the other things that makes a low-level Shaman extremely difficult to deal with in a 1v1 scenario pre-30. And, uh, yeah, you're gold. You are literally gold. All right, Mr. Smite. Can we do it? Obviously, I think we'll be pretty okay. The dungeon's gone really well. I mean, we've had our missteps here and there, but it's been a pretty smooth run. And I think Enhancement Shaman Tank is good, but I don't think it's better than the other tanks. Uh, at least in terms of easy play, right? And I like easy play as a tank, which means I have to have an AoE spell that's going to get all the threat fairly easily. And I just want to pay attention to my mitigation and leadership. And that's basically it. But when aggro becomes too big of a problem, simply because you can't pull big, simply because you don't have any spells that support it, it's a little iffy. It's a little iffy. But I think it's niche. It's a really fun and interesting niche way to play the game. I do think I like my hunter more, though, which I never thought I would say, to be honest with you. Okay. Okay, let's try to go slightly bigger shock on that one rocky bash those two pulling 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 auto attacking this guy stone skin totem earth shield up no mana and that is the norm can i hold aggro get this little goblin dude on me oh my god you can't get him back all right he's running away it's fine he's so low it's okay another rocky bash just so satisfying if only it hit everything and if only i had mana Ooh, okay so we've just got captain green skin and van cleef himself all right so i pulled van cleef so that i could get his black guards off i don't know if we really had to do that but all right and now we've got captain green skin one rocky bash hopefully the flame shock as well and i can hold aggro might as well berserk ring for the haste my attack speed goes up significantly with the troll racial right uh, and okay, this guy's getting off me. I guess it makes sense to go for ads, so... And they're all dying so quick, and I could just do like that, and everything's working out. Captain Greenskin's gonna die super quick, and we'll be able to solo Edwin, as in he'll be by himself, uh, right now. That's pretty good. I will keep up the Flame Shock on this guy. I do like it when I have no mana. It's pumping damage, it's giving me that residual threat. 
Um, and I, I don't know, maybe it's not better than just going for one Earth Shock, but it is more mana efficient, so I do like that. All right, the last bits of the Black Guard. Cape of the Brotherhood dropped, though. That's pretty interesting. I'm actually gonna go for that. It's, it's actually better than what I have. Three stamina, six agility versus the seven spirits of my face scale cloak. Yeah, I'll definitely take it if I can win it. And I won, nice. Okay, and it looks cool too. All right, let's beat Cookie. All right, here he comes. Pull with the Flame Shock, I guess. Rocky Bash. This should be enough. Get that Earth Shield up as well. The Earth Shield giving me more block chance, theoretically giving me more mana. There we go. This should be an easy, easy, easy kill. Yeah, Cookie's gonna die. Nice. Goblin Ship Builder now. And we're done, guys. We are actually done. Cookie's Tenderizer dropped. That's a really crappy weapon, whatever. I will greet it. Uh, but okay, that is Enhancement Shaman easily tanking dead mines honestly you could strip seven levels from me it would have gone the same way um you know if you look at my gear most of it is pre-19 in terms of level requirement i've got things like the cape of the brotherhood itself right i've got that humbert's helmet that's eight stamina i guess that you could say i wouldn't have otherwise but hp and mitigation weren't my problems at all they weren't my problems even kind of actually the only problems i had was threat that's it. And it was only because I couldn't hit multiple targets. If I could hit them all, I didn't have threat issues. That's just to be fair. Of course, unless I ran out of mana. I think all of this kind of stuff will be fixed, though, towards max. It makes sense to me that it would be. There's a bunch of stuff I could still get. There's the bloodlust on the single target. There's the shamanism, which is basically maelstrom weapon to, uh, you know, make my next damage spell have 100% mana reduction, 100% reduced cast time, and uh, yeah, does damage instantly. And we even have really weird things like armaments of the storm, right? Imbue my weapons with storm, what I think is going to be a 20% chance to deal additional damage, up to 240 nature, in fact. So that's good single target threat. There's a lot of weird ways you could build this. I really like the look of it, but uh, you know, my hunter really strikes my fancy, and honestly, there's other classes I might want to try as well. But let me know what you guys thought of the tank shaman in the comments section below for sure all right guys this is actually my hunter on vanilla plus but i was gonna do some questing and maybe do a dungeon the problem is if i try to get these quests in Teneris, it makes me attack the goblins it did this last time i played and i thought maybe when i logged off if i came back on some other day it wouldn't be like this i thought it was maybe an aggro bug um i, I guess it's not i guess being alliance is just screwing me one of the reasons i didn't play revelation wow today is because it just ended up being way too full of bugs a little bit of drama as well that I want to distance myself from until they you know quit imploding uh, but you know mostly bugs and a lot of them talents not working for half the classes um, over tuned NPCs in the dead mines run or uh, WC run rather that I was gonna do and make a video on and uh, just a bunch of bugs, right? Oh yeah, one of the bugs was that you only talk in gibberish every time you talk in say chat so the only way people can talk is by doing slashy and doing an emote. You know, like that's the only way people, I mean, it was just ridiculous, right? So I guess I'm a little off put right now by the bugs from both of these servers. I'm going to jump on Ascension for the rest of this video, and I guess we'll figure out something to do over there. A little bit of something different, but I hope you guys don't mind. Warriors of the Frozen Wastes. So right now I'm on the Wrath of the Lich King Alpha, and there's a lot of weird things you can do on here. First of all, it shows me Death Knight in a classless universe, right? None of this is balanced right now, though, and the talents require level 80 to check out, so it's basically not worth anybody's time unless you just want to play Death Knight on Ascension. Uh, but very interesting legendary enchants that aren't released yet on the main game that we're meant to be testing over here so that hopefully they can come out for the main game do actually exist on this Alpha test realm, one of which that I desperately want to play is Hoplite. This allows the use of a spear and a shield at the same time. It transforms Sinister Strike into Thrust, which does additional damage based on my block value. Shield Slam is transformed into Shield Strike, a finishing move that deals damage based on combo points and reduces the active cooldown of Blood Rage by two seconds, up to 10 per combo point. And then Blood Rage activates something called Hoplite Training. So everything comes around this blood rage so i've got some pretty interesting ideas for that as well hoplite training removes the damage reduction and threat from defensive stance guys but it also increases my block value by a percentage of my attack power this means i'm not stacking block value i'm stacking ap and that ap is going to turn into block value making me more durable against melees and making my thrust hit harder while blood rage is active thrust applies a stack of failing strike failing strike increases the damage of my thrust by 50 percent this just seems to keep going all the way up to 
10, so that's 30 reduced energy and up to 500% more thrust damage. Considering the fact that it also says I lose all stacks of failing strike when blood rage expires, I decided to make a build that entirely focuses around the concept of the blood rage. Now, this is not a very easy thing to do. So one of my first ideas that I want to talk to you guys about, and hopefully this does come out on the main realm sometime soon so we can really give it a full playthrough, is the do the stance dance epic re switching stances increases the duration of blood rage by six seconds however it cannot go past its original duration which as you can see is nine seconds but every time i change stances it gets refreshed up to six or up to nine rather but six more seconds is what it's doing so basically what i want to do is keep it up as much as i can this is pretty interesting right i'm spamming my thrust i'm getting these stacks as you can see of the phalanx strike just pretty nutty and then i can switch stances when i get low i'm not really paying the rage cost right so i can just keep this up as long as i have to there's literally no cost for this at all and then once i get up to my targets i start thrusting for even more damage you can see it goes up exponentially and i'm not doing anything else i'm just spamming thrust guys i've always wanted to be um one of the soldiers from 300 i watched that when i was a little boy man and that really gave me a love for greco-roman history it gave me a love for that ancient western culture that uh, everything that we are currently using today is 100 percent predicated on you know that we all take for granted so this is something i'm a history major don't judge me this is something i really really want to play and something i thought i would share with you guys because not a lot of people have access to the wrath of the lich king alpha and i think a lot of you out there are just as excited as me to play a spear in the one hand slot and a shield in the other with no damage penalty so that's pretty cool but once again just like the shaman tank let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this i would do some more things with it but it is the wrath alpha there is no dungeon pops there is no bg pops it is what it is right do it just do it don't let your dreams be dreams just do it give them nothing but take from them I literally may have just got demonetized for doing that much of that video clip in this video. So become a member. Anyway, we're on Shooketh and we're going to jump into a dungeon on the Stormhammer tank. I didn't actually have to end up shelving him because we ended up playing the demon tank on a completely different character. And it continues the theme that we're going for, you know, with the tank shaman type of archetype. I'm just going to limit test this one. I have been craving a battle horn pull and I think we'll be okay. So uh, let's just get into a prison mythic and just like limit test that whole first room all right guys let's do a prison run i just did a warm up it went pretty well we're gonna mass pull everything in this mythic prison run with the storm hammer tank i've got some pretty cool stuff including a new epic enchant called forked lightning new for this build chain lightning now causes additional forks of lightning making it do massive aoe but it has a longer cooldown so i'm just gonna run to the middle here and then we're gonna horn everything i really do miss the more updated version of ascension now that i've been playing so many vanilla games but uh all right, there we go. Crackling thunder on the ground. Oh, no, don't die. There it is, chain lightning out. Crackling thunder. Got my shield block up. Oh my god. Come on, guys. Chain lightning. Look at that. Look at my DPS. 3k right there. I actually did 6k last pull, so this one's a little scuffed, but I'll take it anyway. I cannot believe it. There we go. I mean, I can believe it because this build's actually way better than I actually remember it being. Like, I remember playing it when we did the playthrough. I don't remember it being this good. Um, I'm not taking any damage, guys. I think I've just been playing a lot of weak stuff recently. So now I'm jumping on this. And I'm like, oh, your build actually was really good. 77% block up right now. I'm basically mitigation capped. I've got the double divine protection damage cooldown shield wall combo. Uh, these things stun. Uh-oh. Don't like that. Shield block. Okay, I'm stunned. Human Racial, they're stunned. Human Racial is actually so good. It's been so pivotal as a tank. It's not even funny. Like, you can die in a stun very easily. Very easily. Your mitigation goes away. At least most of it. You still got your armor. That's about it. 
But I have no threat problems. Look at the threat differential right here. It's crazy. It's how it should be. Look at this chain lightning hitting everything. All right, stun the dogs because the dogs do big damage. We are not dog. All right, there we go. Thunderclap, chain lightning. Guys, this is great. Oh my God, I missed this. I might actually just do this a little bit more after the video. Like, this is sick. This is actually really, really fun. I wanted to show it to you guys again. I've been asking you guys, what do you think of the Shaman tank? What do you think of uh, the Hoplite build, right? Do you want to see some of that eventually? And now I've got to ask you as well, what do you think about the Stormhammer tank? We didn't have to end up shelving it, like I said. That actually ended up being a big plus, considering my feelings right now. Um, what do you think of this? Did you like this build? I'm still waiting for Ascension to come out with like new updates, new legendary enchants, new things to do. Uh, I can grind Mythic Plus and I'll probably default to it. Oh, precisely calibrated boomstick. Uh, like if I have to, but I also want to do things just because it's fun and new things are always fun. So whenever I can invent new things, that's also really, really good. So maybe there's some hidden build I haven't tried yet. Maybe recommend that to me in the comment section below if you have anything that you want me to try. I've done a lot of the meta right now, so I'm kind of looking for other things. All right, here we go. High interrogator, Gerston. And of course, we will get some loot off this. Maybe it'll be usable. I've got a 69.7 item level right now. Not too bad. 30% of my stamina, by the way, becomes spell power when I use my hammer. And it also resets the cooldown of hammer when I chain lightning. Look, look at this. Instantly can use it again. Look at that. That was eight seconds, I think, off the cooldown of concussion blow. Maybe it was 10, but it doesn't really matter. It's really, really strong. Single target DPS, obviously not great, but uh, that's okay because we're the tank. Although some of these dudes, man, some of these guys, one of these guys is a healer and they have, you know, all the excuses in the world. I'm actually impressed that they've done what they've done. But I don't know about some of this stuff in Mythics. I'm not going to get picky, though. Their AoE DPS was great, and we completed the dungeon. Everything is all good. Let's see what we get from the cache real quick. Uh, okay, not the Keystone cache. People ask me why I destroy the Keystone cache as well. It's because you can only have one key, and I already have it, right? So when you get more of these, you just got to get rid of them. They take up bag space. Uh, we'll go for tank. And I got Skull's Cold Embrace. Yeah, there's no way I'm replacing my five set of Death Bone, even if it's a heroic and a mythic. Uh, because the death bone just played heroic is just better anyway yeah pretty sick limit testing this build it went really really well uh and yeah like i said tell me what you think in the comment section so okay guys originally this was supposed to be a revelation wow part four video but they've got some weird drama that i don't really want to be associated with right now going on and so i'm gonna skip over that although i did just put it on the screen so feel free to pause to read it and uh not just that because honestly i could get over that but when you couple it with this the fact that my my talents still don't work you know it's like day four three four still doesn't work um so my death strike doesn't actually do anything and if you combo that with look at the health of this uh, the tunes are actually overtuned on all of these dungeons and i don't mean i don't want to challenge i mean it literally doesn't actually kill you they don't do any damage or have unique mechanics they just take two minutes every single creature that's not a lie i tried to do a wc and it took so long we disbanded because it, it was just going to take way too long it might be balanced around twinks right but if that's the case that's not exactly great when i'm level 15 with 350 health and just want to get some gear there's a lot of really sick stuff in revelation wow though the open world dungeons uh puzzles that you can do there's so many cool things but i'm gonna give them a second to fix the game um, i'm not gonna keep playing it right now with so many bugs even little bugs like spelling and grammar errors which by the way adds integrity to something it makes it feel legit something every private server should highly prioritize or else people don't want to play um so yeah if they fix those things, we will try the game again, but I did just want to give a quick update on that. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of this short episode. I've done a lot of episodes in the last few days, one every single day, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to like and sub. I'll see you in the next one. McDoubles out. <laughs>